right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwatash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutation, and hope for luck out there pushing this word of truth. And this a series across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here, shalom one to a hopeful leg that believers and listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And what I want to get into today, all right, is dealing with you know a, um, a scene you know from the uh, the HBO Max series, you know, Winning Time, you know, going into Magic Johnson. And what I wanted to go into was a scene in the locker room, you know, dealing with um. Um, Haywood, all right, you know, which was a, uh, you know, a, a, a popular player, you know, in the Lakers back in the day, you know, but he's from, you know, Mississippi, and uh, he goes into his childhood, you know, this, <laughs> you know, is proof, all right, of how, you know, we are, okay, the Israelites, man, okay, <laughs> we are who we say we are, you know, the spirit bear witness. You know, whether it's good or bad, the spirit bear witness of who we are. Now, I'm going to let it play. And when you hear it, you're going to automatically, you know, go to a particular precept, you know, that deals with this mindset. Okay? Now, I'm going to let it play. Let's know what this is going to be a child of Eve. Face in those hands. So as you can see, <laughs> you know, him coming up, you know, probably doing, doing the sharecropping area. And, you know, especially Mississippi, you know, where, you know, racism, all right, uh, you know, prejudice and, you know, the mistreatment of Jake, you know, is on another level. All right, especially during those times. And, you know, he was like, every time he see a brown face or a Jake, you know, he see tears on it, man. But that all goes back to the curses, man. This all goes back to prophecy, man, letting you know who we are. You know? And he asked, you know, if the most I love us, okay, then why are we at the bottom? You know? And his grandmother, not having the gospel, gave him a false response. Okay? She made a false statement and said what? He loves them more, talking about Esau Edom. All right, and a lot of people, a lot of our people feel like that, man. Okay, when you don't understand, you know, the gospel. All right, and that's why we have this gospel. That's why it's likened to a comforter because we know why. Now, first, let's deal with that mindset, which, <laughs> okay, you brothers already know. When you go to Malachi chapter 1. Malachi 1, all right, and 1, it says the burden of the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al to Israel by Malachi, okay? It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? 
said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, yet I love Jacob. Okay. That wherein has thy loved us? And we seen that mind frame, okay, dealing with uh Haywood. Okay. I can't think of his first name now. All right. Well, you see that mind frame dealing with him <clears throat> based on what he's seen, you know, coming up. Okay. And you look at the condition and predicament of our people. Okay. And you can go into the mind frame of, you know, the most I can't love us. God can't love us. And he has to favor them. You know. <laughs> well, when you go into the gospel, <clears throat> it says, and I hated Esau. And lay his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Now it's going into history. Okay, when this man was in power, but he was put out of power. Okay, verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, the people whom the Lord have in the nation forever. And see, people don't understand that our power has righteous anger in the nation okay going to a righteous anger against these people man you know and the, and the way that they handled us when you know we was given into their hands you how about shima al shah's pitched at that man okay we have a power that's going to execute righteous judgment in the earth it's to come okay but first we have to understand why we're in this position man Okay, so yeah, this man has built up his empire, but the most I finna throw this place down. But in between Esau building up, going back to the Renaissance period, and the time of this place being thrown down, okay, which will be in World War Three. Okay, and the return of Yahushai, you know, we were supposed to come to the understanding of why we went into captivity. Okay, and what's required of us as Israelites, man. Okay, so you go from here because one thing about our people, they hate accountability. Okay, all these why questions are answered in the scripture. You go to the book of Michael, and this is a great example of accountability. This is the book of Michael, chapter 7, verse 9. And this is an Israelite speaking, and he's saying, I will bear the indignation of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Okay. So the prophet Michael, like, look, I will bear, I have to bear the indignation, the Lord's anger against me right now because of what I've done. I've sinned. Okay. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment. He's going to execute righteous judgment, man. That's why the Black Panther movement didn't go anywhere, man. Okay? That's why the, the Indian movement didn't go anywhere, man. Okay? None of these things that our people did to try to get themselves out of the predicament, it, it didn't go anywhere, man. Okay? And now you just have today a, a nation destroyed, but then you have a remnant, man. And being prepped for deliverance, man, through the gospel. You see? But, hey, it's I. It's on us. Let's get this, man. Let's get Isaiah 59. It says, this is Isaiah 59 and 1. It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But because I, I, our people crying out. Okay? But see, we have to cry out through obedience first, and we have to know who to cry out to. Okay? You can't be doing the same thing that got us in captivity and then crying because of the punishment. Okay? in that concept of a high priest and you know a mediator okay sacrifice 
okay acceptable sacrifice we're understanding these things now before we didn't so our people cry out okay but they're not dealing with the source of the problem man and it was and it was it was us okay that's why repentance is required man verse two we said but your iniquities have separated between you and your power and your and and your sins have hid his face from you that he would not hear. Okay? And that's why there's, there's been this forsaken feeling, okay, amongst our people. Because sin only drove Yahweh Bashim al Shah further away. Great into the society, all right? The, our people went off more and more, going off more and more. Okay, that's why you have a washing my shot. Say, why should I, you know, uh, why should I smite you? You know, you're gonna revolt more and more. <laughs> okay, why should I continue to put hell on you and you getting worse in this society, man? That's why he has to <laughs> do a mighty work in the earth, man, and cut a lot of Israelites off, man. But there's a remnant that have repented, okay, through what, man, belief in this gospel. As Isaiah 51 said, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have you sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother put away, which is our homeland. You know, Jerusalem. You know, we were, we were divorced, separated from, from that land. Okay? Due to our disobedience. All right, understanding we ain't, you know, cause I think he was, in, yeah, he was in L.A. All right, we ain't supposed to be in L.A., man. We we from Jerusalem, man. We from Israel. Okay, just to understand that we we far from home, man, because of our disobedience, man. Okay, and it's all you know fulfillment. All right, of prophecy, man. When you go to Jeremiah chapter five. All right, it's Jeremiah 5. All right, 25, and it says, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. <laughs> okay. You know, we were the problem. All right, that's how we ended up in this predicament. But see, there was always a, a, a hope and mercy. There was always, you know, Yahweh Shema Shah always left, you know, a door open for mercy, man. That was through Yahweh Shah. And that's why when you understand Yahweh Shah, okay, that's, that's, a, that's a comforter. You see? That's a comforter, man. Matthew 11 and 28, it says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, man. Rest in the spirit. Because imagine if we didn't have this understanding, but still dealing with, you know, these different, you know, um, 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 struggles in, in this society, man. Okay, not understanding who we are, why we in this position, why, you know, people look like us suffering, man. Okay. These so-called white people, you know, they got it much better, man. Why? Why was they able to get away with, with, with slavery? Why was they able to get away, you know, with all the things that he's doing in the earth? Why is this man able to get away with these things, man? Okay? It'll drive, it'll drive you crazy, man. But see, with Yahweh Shah, there's a rest, knowing that there's a deliverance for the righteous and the judgment, okay, for the wicked, man. You know? Because he's the volume of the book. So within your house, side there is rest, man, and understanding why we here and how this thing is going to play out, man. There's a comfort in that. It says, "Take my yoke, all right, upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, man." Okay, and that burden is what repentance, man. All right. Rehearsing the righteous acts, man. 
that's, that's a light thing, man. The scriptures say the, the, the laws are not grievous, man. Now, we can't keep them perfect because the way this system in society is set up, okay? But the ones we can keep, man, that's a, that's a light burden, man, especially for the deliverance that we're finna get, man. Immortality, okay, rulership, you know, just to be obedient. To, to 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 laws is gonna benefit us in that benefit us anyway. Okay. Obedience to the law is an upgrade, man. Alright, but Esau Elam has you know uh, uh you know enchanted the masses as if this is it's oppression. But then you in his society, you're not oppressed. People are marching and protesting every day for something. You know, as if this society is not oppression, man. Okay, but he teach the laws as if they just some overwhelming, overbearing, you know, oppressive thing to do. Keep keeping the laws, man. Not committing adultery. Okay, eating a particular way. Not getting the line up. All those things benefit may you know how much money I'd save, not going to the barber shop. Hell, I could just let my wife come out here. <laughs> you see? Convenient, ain't gotta wait in line, hear them niggas talk, you know. The the, the 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 wood till black and mild smell you know how much how much money you know and time and resource I can save not celebrating these wicked uh, uh holidays man okay how much better my health has gotten since you know uh, uh, uh you know we go by the vertical diet okay the laws are, are excellent man. All right, I had to worry about you know, uh, uh, you know, having altercations with other men because I'm dealing with they women. Okay, so the law is, is is excellent, man. And breaking it got us in this position, man. And faith in your howl shy. All right, which is going to what promote obedience is going to get us out of this, man. <laughs> you see, let's go here. There's a promise of mercy, man. And there's so many more scriptures <laughs> to explain why we're here. All right. But let's um, go into the mercy. This is um Isaiah 54 and um 4. It says, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded. For thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shall, know, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Yeah, because it's like, you know, we're a woman. Like, say you're in a community where everyone knows everybody. And, you know, you're a woman that has been put out because of adultery. You know? And you have to bear that shame throughout the community. Okay? Everyone understanding why you have been put out. What you did. Okay? Then you was living this glamorous life. Okay, you, you say your husband was rich and now, okay, you're pretty much just out here, man, for the streets. You know, living day for day <laughs> when you had it made. All right, and that's how Israel was in the earth, man. Okay, the most I left was for the streets. But see, now he's finna take all that away, man. He's finna bring us back in, man. Okay, and deck us out again. Okay. It says, for thy maker is thine husband, and the Lord of hosts is his name, all right, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall he be called. You see that? And and he's referring, Most High is saying he's the husband of the nation of Israel because a husband does what? Protects and provides, okay? And guides. Because see, in this society, everyone wants the protection and 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 you know, on um, the provisions of, you know, what this society calls a high value man, you know, a man with a lot of resources. Everyone wants, you know, that uh, all these women want the protection, you know, and the, and the, um, because scripts say money is defense, okay, and the provisions that's come that comes with that, but no one no one really wants that guidance from that man, and that's how we were, <clears throat> you know, we wanted that protection and provision from the most high <clears throat> but we fell away from his discipline his guidance 
okay? But coming back to their guidance is going to get us back to their protections and their protection and provisions, man. Okay? It says, <clears throat> verse 5 said, For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Al-Shav, hosts is his name, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth, shall he be called. Okay? For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and what we just seen dealing with uh haywood he was he was uh grieved in the spirit okay and <laughs> you heard him complaining and a wife of youth when thou wast refused said thy power for a small moment have i forsaken thee but with great mercies will i gather thee man and that's a comfort understanding these things we understand why and we why we in this position then we understand what's to come there's a mercy to come okay and then and the people that's over us all right and the people that's over us they're finna be at the bottom okay they're finna have to go through what we went through on a whole nother level the cup that we had to drink is finna be passed to them all right so that's the point, you know, Lord will, you brothers, and you few sisters were edified to the next time I say shalom. Call me Yashallah, or Bob, or Bob, DTA soon.